Okay guys, it's X-Train Spotter HD and welcome back to another new video. I am AX with St. David's for my usual Sunday afternoon session. And this session will be a little bit different. There's certain train services that are running a bit different today. There's services from Newton Abbott to Exworth, no trains going to Peyton. Um, seeming due to engineering works perhaps. Uh, I noticed the services from London Paddington are only going as far as Par or St. Austell. Again, I think due to engineering works. So, uh, yeah, the, the services will be slightly different. The trains will be more or less, more or less the same, I would say. But the services running to these destinations will be a bit different. So there'll be a slight difference in this video today. So you will see services from Greatestham Railway and Cost Country. There's no Southwestern Railway trains running today, I don't believe. Um, I'm not sure why they're not running, actually. Again, I'm assuming maybe engineering works, unless the Southwestern Railway Company are on strike today. Obviously, don't forget there was strike action yesterday. There was no trains at all yesterday. The ironic, laughable thing is they actually cancelled the strike action. <laughs> Uh, but obviously they couldn't reinstate all the services yesterday in time. So uh, that was a laughable thing. You will also see a freight today. Um, it'll be one from St. Basie going to uh, back to Westbury. It'll be that Top and Tail Class 66 is running today on a Sunday, which is very unusual. You don't often see that. I'm assuming it's only running today because it couldn't run yesterday due to the strike action. So I'm assuming that's the reason why it's running today. So you will see that in this video as well. So it should be made for an interesting little video today, I've got to admit. So, as always guys, sit back, relax, and most importantly, enjoy the video. Okay then guys, we're back in the video, and the first uh, train to kick off the video is a Gratis and Railway service from Barnstable going to Exeter Central. It's a two-car 150, 150 Um Yeah, as always, looking... Uh, rather filthy I'm not going to mention how filthy the 150s always look um, they don't look too bad from the side they just always look filthy from the front and back uh, you never seem to get a never seem to get a chance to have a proper good wash for some reason um, for me if they wash the front and back I don't think it will take that long all it needs is a good scrub and a wash that's it that would take less than what 10 20 minutes maybe so, uh, yeah, it's quite puzzling why they never seem to uh, get a wash. So, um, yeah, so that's that one. There's a train waiting to come in up the line. Uh, this is from Newton Abbott going to Exmouth. Uh, be pretty weird for me in this video not say, not mentioning about they painted. <laughs> I usually say paint to Exmouth all the time, don't I? But it'd be Newton Abbott to Exmouth today, I'll be saying. So yeah, there we go, that's the state of play. I think the top and tail freight is actually right behind that turbo there, so that's not too far away either. There is another scheduled freight to run, um, coming through here at around about three o'clock. Uh, not sure if we'll be here at that time, but uh, I will keep an eye on that one anyway. Maybe it may, may end up running early, who knows, but uh, I'll keep an eye on that. So we'll keep the camera running as we got the Gretzky Railway Series to Exeter Central. About to the part, this one's actually running a little bit late. Okay, so I'll come back in a few seconds once the uh, Expo service comes in. Okay, coming in now will be the Greatest from Railway Service to Exmouth. This will be run by a turbo. This is 
Bristol 166 211. I did call a treat and had a look at this one. Okay, so that is more or less, uh, I will say, just about on time actually. Um, obviously, I had to wait up the line for a bit before it came in, but yeah, I think that's more or less just about on time. Obviously, we'll see it go out very shortly. Um, we'll see the proper tail freight come in shortly as well. It's due to come on on platform five apparently for a little bit of a stop. Whether it will stop, I don't know. Um, for a change of drivers, apparently, according to the real time trains up. Whether it would do that or not, I'm not sure. It would obviously come in, but will it come on back from five? I don't know. Um, but we'll wait and see, obviously. Uh, so, uh, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so we do have that top and tail freight now coming in from uh, from Sip Basie and going to Westbury. Um, it's not going to go straight to Westbury at this time. Apparently, it will come back into St David's about half two. So I think this might go to the Riverside, apparently. Is it going on five or six? It is going on five. It is 66, 06 line at the front, red DB. Very filthy 66 129 at the back. Just thinking, looks like the barriers are down. Will the light change for that freight? It hasn't changed yet. still hasn't changed it's changed now so yes indeed that will go to the riverside and it will come back in later um, yeah much later on I think about half two apparently <laughs> although it may come back in quite early you never know okay service to Exof is about to depart leaving around about, uh, about two minutes later I think Okay, we've got the service to Newton Abbott coming in now. From Exmouth. Double 150, 150, uh, will be, uh, well, is that the front of the boat? It'll be at the back once at least. One fifty two three three. Uh, we'll now be at the front. This one is going straight to Doors Warren, Doors Timoth, and Newton Abbott. There we go. Apparently, the Barcelona service will depart from platform three now. <laughs> Okay, coming in now also is a terminating Greta Railway Suez from London Panton. Terminating in on time, actually coming in around about a minute or so early. 
Looks like the 150 247, as you can see over there, is kind of wanting to come out for a little test run, looks like. Well, this uh, IET is a 10 car IET. I don't think we'll see the number at the back unless I go all the way down there, which I might make it. I may go down there and uh, show you the number at the back. So weather wise today it's going to be a mixed bag of sunshine and showers, not very warm either. Here is 800-023 at the front, Firefighter Lombard, that's an interesting name. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's another 800 at the back, actually I might just have a cheeky look on the real time drain damage, a tidy number on there. Okay, so we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, I thought I'd quickly come back. We, uh, well, it's caught me off guard. We got that 15247 going out of the depot with the 265. Going out for a, uh, I'm assuming, going out for a little, uh, a little test run. May, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be, do a service now or go back into the depot, I'm not sure. To let you know, the number at the back of this IET is 800024. So, uh, it's a number at the back of that IET there. And the typical British weather is uh, starting really bad now. It's uh, looks like we're going to experience uh, a rather light shower, I would say. It was quite sunny when I got here, but uh, typical uh, British weather has uh, come back. <laughs> we are in November now though, so uh, you can expect to see quite a bit of rain. Uh, we have had had a, a quite a dry summer, I would say, this year. So it's been quite a strange year for weather, I would I will admit. So um, yeah, showing about the two three three here. That uh, obviously when it went into service on the up and line looked really nice and new, nice and clean. But now look at it, it's uh, it's uh, kind of filthy, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, it's gone back to its original state. It's a shame, isn't it? It's just a shame that they. You know, they never get the chance to have a proper wash to 150s. They always look filthy. The same with the 158s. They look filthy from the side, but look rather clean from the front and back. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that uh, double 150 did go right up the line there, as you can see. I'm assuming it may do a service. So uh, I just wonder if that double 150 may... Would it go on the Barnstable line? It may do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so the light's green over there and the light's gone out there. So is there another service on platform one? And maybe, I think there's a service from Oakhampton to Exeter Central. Uh, but, yeah, whatever it's doing, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty shit now. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, staying under here. So, uh, yeah. Okay guys, well we're back in the video and uh, I think I'd like to go out now. We'll be a great some railway service to Exeter Central. I think the service to Newton Abbott here will, will be going out any time now as well. The service to Central is 150.219 on their own. As we welcome you back to a very wet section of St. David's now. <laughs> Luckily, as you know, St. David's is a well-sheltered station, so I'm standing under here. Certainly hammering down now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the joys of British weather at this time of the year. Hey guys. Okay, so we do have that 265 and 
247 coming in now. Um, on to black from one. I'm thinking that's not going to be the Bartol service. It may form, may form a service, maybe 2x worth, if I'm guessing. That's just my pure guess, anyway, so. Uh, yeah. There's that one. We should have a service from London Pants into Perth coming in shortly as well. We will get the cross country service shortly as well. So uh, there will be a few more trains I want to get on camera before ending the video. So there is a few more. We get to see a castle set in the next few minutes as well. I did have a look at the uh, the other freight train running from uh, St. Nostal back to Westbury. Uh, doesn't look like that's on the move yet. But freight is freight. They either run or they don't. They either early or they run really late. So, you know, freight is freight and that. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. Okay guys, well, uh, right to right now, we'll be the greatest railway service to Plymouth from London Paddington. Right, so we've got the return of the 152.49, we're going to serve us back to Barnstable. No one would stand out there, but as you can see, it's been lashing down lately. Or well, just a minute ago, it was lashing down. Got that double one fifty. Uh, indeed, it is doing a service to Exmouth. We also got another IET coming in, going to London, passing from Plymouth. Well, that uh, double one fifty is had a nice wash. <laughs> Slowly gliding her way in is 802104. So there's about three more trains when I get out on camera. It's a service from Cardiff Central going to St. Hostel, this one, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit weird to say. And um, I want to catch a cross country service going to Edinburgh. Uh, that one's on time. And a service coming in uh, going to Newton Abbott. So those will be the last three trains I want to get on camera before uh, ending the video. So we'll uh, come back then. Okay guys, coming in now is a Great Eastern Railway service to, to St. Hostel. One card is central, castle set on this one. The Bartel Sir is leaving as well. That one is running slightly late leaving. Here's 43 at 092 at the front. Colmwell Castle. So we'll, uh, we'll see her go out very shortly. 
Okay, about to go out now. We'll be a slight date ready in Greatest Railway Service in Cardiff Central to St. Austell. Okay, and I'm just going to record it from here as it is still raining. One eight seven, the Cardiff Castle at the back. Okay, so we do have the cross country service to Edinburgh now coming in. This is the only cross country service we'll see in this video, and this will be two two one one two seven. Looking uh, quite filthy, good overwash. Before ending the video, be a service to Newton Abbott. So we will come back. Okay, here's the last train of the video. This is the service to Newton Abbott. This is the 166208. I did have a, a little cheeky look on this as well. This one is on time. Okay, so as she comes in, I'm going to leave it here at Exit St. David's on this Sunday afternoon. I hope you enjoyed the selection on of trains today from turbos to the Cost Country Water uh, to the Castle Set to the IET to the 150s uh, and that top and tail freight uh, which will, will, will eventually go back to uh, Westbury. So, uh, not a bad little selection of trains. Um, so, I ho hope you enjoyed, like I said. And if you did, leave a big fat like. Any feedback will be greatly appreciated. And until next time, from me here at Exorcist David's, I shall see you all soon, guys. Take care.